nutritional quality and the future prospect of uh, goat and sheep milk. Uh, India's dairy sector has tremendous growth in pa uh, past five decades and the milk production of India increased from 21.2 million ton to, to the 230.5 uh, million ton in 2022 to 2023. And in India, the lifting the per capita uh, annual milk availability is also, and it is increased from 112 kg to 407 kg uh, per annum. And as we know, cows and the buffalo are the main, uh, main milk animal and which contribute about the 25% of the total milk production in the country. But there are many non bovine species like sheep, goat, camel, uh, yak, mithun, they also possess a numerous therapeutic, in the, uh, therapeutic properties and which can be a super food uh, in, in emerging year. But these species have not received much attention yet. So then uh, milk is characterized by a large amount of the functionally active lipids, lactose, immunoglobulins, uh, having immunoproteins, peptides, nucleotides, oligosaccharides, and metabolites. And their milk having unique chemical and uh, microbial property, which can be applied, exploited for improving human health also. For example, goat milk and camel milk and donkey milk can be used as a medicinal, medicinal food and therapeutic food because it having a hypoallergy uh, property and higher digestibility as well. So uh, the population of the goat is 148.8 million uh, in number in recent year, and the production from the goat, uh, uh, the production of the milk from the goat, 7.6 million ton, and which contribute about the 3.3 percent in total milk production. However, the population of the sheep is 74.26 million, uh, 26 million in numbers. In India, sheep milk production is only 0 0.2 million, uh, 2 million ton. However, uh, globally, sheep, uh, sheep contribute about 1.3% of total milk production. Africa contribute about 6.6% uh, in total uh, world milk production. So the nutritional composition of milk of non bovine species is similar to that of the cow milk, but Non-bovine milk has additional unique, uh, uniqueness in its chemical, biochemical, and the physical property, which impart as a dis distinct nutritional and therapeutic values. Some positional difference between the uh, bovine species and the non-bovine species milk. So here we can see the total solid content of the sheep milk is highest among all the uh, bovine and non-bovine uh, species followed by the buffalo and the cow and the fat percent is also highest in sheep milk uh, sheep milk followed by the buffalo and the cow milk and the, but the lactose content is highest in the human milk but the uh, donkey milk and the camel milk having the highest lactose percent lactose percent content in other milk species and the total protein is highest in the uh, sheep milk However, donkey milk and the camel milk having uh, slightly lower uh, protein content as compared to the other milk species. The total casein content in sheep milk is highest followed by the buffalo and the cow. Donkey milk having lowest casein content as compared to the other milk species. But donkey milk having uh, highest uh, immunoglobulin. The sheep milk having highest uh, riboflavin content and uh, camel milk having highest niacin and pantothenic acid content. However, donkey milk having highest cyanocobalamin uh, content. Uh, sheep milk and the goat milk uh, having highest calcium content. Goat milk having highest potassium content, followed by the camel milk. And the zinc content is highest uh, in case of the donkey milk and the camel milk. Sheep uh, and goat milk having uh, more uh, mono, mono unsaturated fatty acid and the polyunsaturated fatties, and it is it having that's what having more therapeutic and medicinal value. So beta casein is the highest in case of the go, uh, camel, uh, goat, and the human milk. However, alpha S1 casein is dominant in the cow milk. Here we can see uh, the alpha S1 casein is dominant in the cow milk and alpha S1 uh, casein is lower in case of the non-bovine milk species. 
so it create the challenges during the processing of uh, processing of uh, non boiled milk uh, based milk product so the concentration of the alpha s1 casein is uh, proportional to the yield of the processed food product and the high concentration of the alpha s uh, alpha s1 casein in the yield yields the processed uh, product at particular cheese paneer or other heat coagulable products ph of the camel milk is the, is the lowest and the horse having the highest uh, ph uh, ph as compared to the other milk species the cow milk having highest uh, heat coagulation time as compared to the uh, goat milk and the goat milk having the minimum heat coagulation time because cow milk having higher alpha s1 casein and the whey protein is also higher as compared to the goat milk that's why the heat stability of the goat milk is lowest as compared to the uh, cow and the buffalo milk sheep and uh, goat milk uh, uh, fat globule size is uh, lower as compared to the cow and the buffalo milk it makes is the more digestible because when the fat globule size is uh, lesser the surface area is more so the lipase enzyme act very properly that's why the sheep uh, sheep goat milk uh, is uh, very digestible as compared to the cow and the buffalo milk so it makes it very uh, therapeutic uh, important so it makes the goat milk and the sheep milk uh, uh, very therapeutic and the medicinal value however uh, we are considering that the goat milk and the uh, goat milk is the naturally homogenized milk because of that the fat globule size is the responsible for the uh, for the natural homogene homogenization of the goat milk and so and it makes the more digestible uh, and the goat milk is more digestible as compared to the mechanically homogenized milk we can say and here the uh, fatty acid profile goat and the sheep milk having Uh, highest number of the monounsaturated fatty acid and the polyunsaturated fatty acid and high level of the salt chain and the medium chain fatty acid what is the important important of this fatty acid profile because lipase enzyme acts properly in the uh, in the fatty acid which are the uh, medium chain fatty acid and uh, uh, short chain fatty acid so lipase enzyme acts very properly on that and so that the goat and the sheep milk more digestible as compared to the other milk we have seen some goaty flavor uh, in the goat milk the basically what is the responsible what are the content basically responsible for that the caproic acid caprylic acid and capric acid is responsible for the goaty flavor of that uh, goaty flavor of the uh, goat milk instead of that these fatty acid having some medicinal value also goat milk having higher vitamin a content as compared to the other species and the immunoglobin like lysozyme lactoferrin highest in the camel milk so it make is very uh, so the camel milk and the donkey milk and uh, it, it it acts as the immunomodulator also and we have seen the goat milk uh, contain more calcium and the more vitamins and the four time more copper than the cow milk and the taurine contain glycine uh, glycine and the glutamic uh, glutamic acid are the major free fatty acid which is present in the goat milk and the goat goat colostrum have uh, rich in polyamines and higher than the milk of other animal and it is important for the optimal growth and the gast uh, gastrointestinal tract cell function and maturation of the git enzymes and which are responsible for the reduce allergy in, in case of the infant so goat milk is uh, suitable for the uh, suitable for the uh, in, infants and we can replace the goat milk uh, we can replace the breast milk uh, from uh, from the goat milk if if a uh, breast milk availability is not there goat milk nucleotide are involved in the lipoprotein metabolism and it having high density lipoprotein and they are responsible in the synthesis of the apolipoprotein a1 and the a1b and it is it is very important for the infants and the goat milk is a natural source of human like oligosaccharide so it act as a, a, a prebiotic it having the prebiotic effect and because it stimulate the bifidobacterium and the lactobacillus species in the intestines of the infants so it is very important for the infants also basically we have seen 
during the chicken guinea fever and the dengue fever uh, we are offering the goat milk to those patients who are suffer from the chicken guinea and the dengue fever and during uh, this fever selenium deficiency and the decreased plate count has occurred so it believed that and it considered that the goat milk is rich in uh, selenium that's why goat milk are basically are offered uh, during the chicken gunia and the dengue fever and sheep milk uh, also contain medium chain triglyceride and the polyunsaturated poly fatty acid than the cow milk and it is the richest source of the butyric acid omega 3 fatty acid and the conjugated linoleic and the alpha linoleic acid and, and sheep milk is very beneficial uh, against the cancer, coronary heart disease, osteoporosis, and it will also um, uh, stimulate the immune system. Sheep milk has a sweet and uh, soft flavor, aroma, and the creamy texture due to, due to uh, its small fat global size and highest fat percentage as compared to the other species. So it has a positive effect on the bone structure integrity and bone health due to more availability of the calcium and the phosphorus. Uh, I will discuss about the camel milk. Uh, the camel milk is considered as the white gold of the desert. It is similar to human milk, but uh, it having some compositional difference from the from the human milk and other um, other milk animals. It having the double beta casein, approximately five times immunoglobulins as compared to the cow milk. It is low in cholesterol and sugar, and it is high in mineral like sodium, potassium, iron, copper, zinc, magnesium. But, uh, and having high amount of the immunoglobulins and the lysozyme, but in case of the camel milk having no beta -lac lactoglobulin, which is responsible for the lesser heat stability of the uh, camel milk. And uh, it is create the challenges the, for the conversion of the camel milk into the to the conversion of the camel milk products. Camel milk having the high proportion of the mono and the poly and certain fatty acids and the high vitamin rich composition and having the uh, cam fermented camel milk having the angiotensin 1 converting enzyme which is very uh, play, uh, which plays a significant role in the carbohydrate metabolism and digestion of the milk proteins and camel milk having strong immunomodulatory uh, activity, antioxidative activity, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antihepatitis, and the hypoglycemic activity, and the anti-cancerous and the anti-autism activity. There is some study uh, which is done by the Agrawal and the co-worker uh, in CSWRI, and they found that the a patient with type 1 disease had indicated that drinking camel milk daily decreases the blood glucose level and reduces insulin requirement by 30 percent what are the content basically uh, responsible for that camel milk having uh, 16 like some insulin family peptides uh, and higher content of the zinc which has a key role in the insulin secretory activity in pancreas beta cell so uh, camel milk can be used as a uh, used uh, for the patient, uh, uh, for the patient uh, who are suffering from the diabetes uh, type one, and uh, uh, Agrawal and the co-worker also uh, uh, done a research. Uh, he surveyed among the uh, Raika community in North West Rajasthan, and and they found there is zero prevalence of diabetes in the camel milk with uh, consuming Raika community of North West Rajasthan in India. There are some nutritional composition of the donkey milk. As we know, donkey milk is an emerging superfood uh, in due years. It is uh, naturally uh, naturally defeated milk, having uh, good cholesterol management property and having higher, higher lactose, which stimulate the intestinal absorption of the calcium. And it can be used as a pro uh, probiotic purpose and it having the lower protein content, as I discussed earlier, so, donkey milk uh, having less allergic property, so it can be conven conveniently used uh, for the infants formula. Donkey milk having high amount of the lysozyme content, uh, which is 1 milligram per ml to 4, 4 milligram per ml, so it can be used as an uh, antimicrobial property. 
donkey milk having leptin contains up to 3.35 to 5.3 nanogram per ml which are responsible for regulating the food uh, food intake metabolism and to improve the infant body conditions also donkey milk can be uh, used for infant nutrition why it is emerging food for the infants because it having uh, antimicrobial efficacy because of the high lysozyme content it having a soft uh, it it have basically donkey milk form the softer during the digestion because of the lower ratio of the sol soluble calcium and high higher whey protein content and it having higher amount of the lactoferrin content which against bacterial infection which is caused by the bordetella pertussis bordetella bordetella pertussis called the pertussis which is uh, also known as the pooping cup and which is more prevalent uh, in the infant which are lesser than the 3 month old so uh, donkey milk uh, uh, can be used the uh, to the infants who are suffering from the uh, bordetella pertussis disease there is one studies has done on the donkey milk it possesses natural proteo uh, pro, uh, protective antimicrobial factor because it has a specific epidermal growth factor which is which has a beneficial impact on gastrointestinal mucosa health and and which also maintain the integrity in infants who have reduced in, uh, immune defense system yak milk is uh, is also emerging superfood and uh, fsci fsci uh, registered yak as a food animal in 2022 it opened the several vistas for economic benefits for the farmers and the food processor and uh, there is one product from the yak that is yak churpi which is fermented milk product and got the gi tag uh, gi tag from the government of india and so conservation of the yak milk is increased when the yak churpi got the uh, gi tag uh, in the recent year and it is also very important for the economic upliftment of the yak rear so here we can say what are the importance of the non boil milk and then another non boil milk non boil species is mithun uh, mithun got the acceptance by the fssci as a food animal in 2022 and it having unique it, and the uh, yak is basically unique one species with cultural significance it is mainly found in the north north east state like in uttar pradesh uh, nagaland manipur and it having uh, medicinal therapeutic value, value also because uh, it having linoleic acid linolenic acid and most abundant polyunsaturated fatty acids and the high level of the vitamin a d e and k and high mineral contents so mithun milk is a nutrient rich food which contribute to the nutritional security of the population of the northeast india so here uh, we will discuss about the microbial diversity in the non boiled milk so uh, there are some very lesser studies has been done on the microbial di microbiological diversity of the non boiled milk there are some uh, microbial there are some studies it is done in the china uh, sanen and the gona uh, gona jong goats having uh, higher amount of the proteo uh, proteo bacteria and the susek species having uh, technological relevant uh, microbiological flora like lactococcus lactis lactobacillus helvetica uh, helvetica streptococcus uh, uh, lutensis and but it also having pathogenic relevant uh, bacteria like streptococcus agalactia klebsiella pneumoniae and the e coli also so there are hardly any study from india on the microbiological quality uh, microbiological quality and the diversity and the metabolic profiling of the milk from the non boil milk basically what are the responsible factor for the diversity of the non boil milk and their uh, compositional differences the climate region is a main uh, main uh, responsible factor so it is at most uh, important to explore the non boil composition and how it can be done so the omic approach uh, is an opportunity to discover active biomolecules and the unique microbes uh, which having the potential to improve health so there are some studies has been that the psycho and the co workers they found that the high bisol sugar contain the cow milk 
and the sheep milk having higher citrate lactate erythritol and the citric acid uh, content and the goat milk having highest mannose 6 phosphate isomaltulose valine uh, pyroglutamic acid and these metabolites can be used as a biomarker to differentiate these, these milk and uh, to detect that and it can be and these molecular metabolites can be uh, used uh, to de to detect the adulteration of the bovine milk or the non bovine milk there are some studies has been done on the metabolic profiling of uh, non bovine milk especially goat milk and the hina sharma dr hina sharma say scientist in the ndri she has done study on metabolic approaches uh, to and to explore the uh, microbiological uh, or microbiological uh, quality of the cow and the goat milk by using the omic approaches she also done a study on the goat milk yogurt to the to know the uh, metabolic profiling and the uh, microbial profiling of the goat milk yogurt as we know uh, non goat and milk especially sheep and uh, sheep and goat milk having tremendous nutritional and uh, and therapeutic value but there are some technological issue to conversion uh, the sheep goat milk into the uh, sheep goat milk based product so what are the technological issue because poor acceptance by the consumer because of the that flavor that distinct flavor uh, that is goaty flavor which is the content basically responsible for that caproic and caprylic acid and the soft fragile coagulum because of the lower alpha s1 casein basically alpha s1 casein is responsible for the stable coagulum and the poor poor thermal stability because it having the having uh, beta globulin content and the lower alpha s1 uh, in casein and the high buffering capacity and the difficult cream separation we cannot procure the fat from the uh, goat and sheep milk because it is uh, because it is naturally homogeneous milk and difficult in uh, and higher degree of frothing and the foaming uh, and the lesser yield of the cheese curd and the poor ripening behavior and the lesser yield of the paneer also because of the because of the lower alpha s1 casein and the higher falling on the processing equipment so there is wide variation in the compositional affect biochemical and nutritional function properties and the utility of the non boiled milk so it is the main challenge basically there are some value added product uh, which can be uh, made from the uh, goat and the sheep milk so as we know goat is the uh, cow of the poor people because it having most reliable source of the livelihood uh, for them since the domestication during the neolithic age although india ranked first in the population of the goat and their milk production but uh, the market of the gold milk uh, goat milk is not uh, organized the most in, in india basically the most organized market for the goat milk is in the europe especially in the france where manufacturing of cheese uh, from the goat milk is a specialized activity and as in high in demand new dairy industries based on the goat milk are the gaining importance in the china in the united states in united states of america and new zealand because of the growing consumer demand and the, there is uh, consumer perception has been changed day by day towards the non bovine milk especially the goat and the sheep milk and goat and the sheep goat and the sheep milk based product having renewable prices and a safeguard against climate change also so so these milk uh, can be used as a nutritional security also so goat uh, goat milk uh, can be explored as efficacious matrix for the probiotic as uh, i have earlier uh, discussed so it having uh, less allergies autism can be used in the diet as a, as i already discussed about uh, these property and which type of the product basically we can make from the goat milk uh, we can make uh, we can make the cheese we can make the yogurt we can make the anti aging uh, formulation anti aging formulation having therapeutic use in the psoriasis and skin eczema and there is fatty acid i have already discussed for the, which is responsible for the goaty flavor that is caproic and the caprylic acid in the milk which help basically in uh, which help in enhancing skin permeability so we can so uh, nowadays so many skin uh, cosmetics are the made from the goat milk and we can make the uh, dry goat milk powder dry granulated milk condensed goat milk butter and the butter oil cultured goat and the cream butter 
we can make the ice cream whey protein concentrate so many products we can make if we can in, uh, introduce the technological intervention during the processing of the goat milk and goat or sheep milk so there are the, some goat uh, goat milk products which are uh, which are available in the market like goat milk cheese goat milk yogurt goat milk drink goat milk uh, goat milk butter goat milk beverage so many uh, products are available in the market nowadays there are some camel milk based products are also available in the market and nowadays in india so many studies is uh, going on uh, in goat milk uh, my senior uh, dr hina sharma made the goat milk beverage by incorporating the uh, giloy to see the antioxidant and uh, antioxidant and the uh, antioxidant and anti inflammatory activity there is one studies has been done in the dwasu mathura in goat milk so goat milk based soft cheese by incorporation of the herbs and the humectants and um, in in ndri in uh, there is one studies had been done Uh, they made the goat goat cheese by admixing uh, the buffalo milk in in the goat milk basically there are some sheep milk uh, based value added products and the sheep milk is ideal milk for making the ice cream dried milk uh, cheese uh, dried milk uh, and the, for the for making cheese and the for making yogurts because sheep milk has high protein content fat content calcium and the casein content which which makes it an excellent matrix for cheese production there are some sheep milk based cheese which is uh, which is more uh, prevalent in the other country like feta cheese in the greece roquefort in the france and the uh, manchego of manchego cheese in spain and the uh, romano in italy jira of malta and the gomola and the hungary there are the traditional cheese which is prevalent in the, in this country is also done in india by one of my senior who is uh, yp um, yogesh garikar he is scientist at swri and uh, he worked on uh, on the quality of sheep uh, sheep milk and the sheep milk based product nowadays in other country also research is, is going on in sheep goat milk based product in fact milk uh, formula is a very important uh, thing nowadays so non boiled milk is very important uh, for making the infant formula because of uh, lack of allergy allergic protein soft curd uh, more digestible naturally how homogeneous fat globule and non boiled milk having high proportion of the medium chain fatty acid uh, short chain fatty acid uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid monounsaturated fatty acid and it having great diversity of the oligosaccharides and it is rich in antimicrobial component like lysozyme uh, immunoglobulins uh, and so many and it having high buffering capacity also so but uh, inclusion of these normal component in infant formula is not yet received wide acceptability and the issues are related to their availability stability assimilation interaction with infant under develop uh, uh, developed body system as we know uh non boiled milk having some challenges during the processing of those milk so there are some technological intervention by inclusion these intervention we can uh, make the non boiled milk uh, based products so we can uh, we can follow some various approaches uh, by addition of the boiled milk proteins uh, in the non boiled milk uh, and by alteration in the processing variable like thermal treatment membrane technology pulse selective feed high pressure processing appears promising in improving the quality of uh, improving the quality of the shelf life of the non milk uh, non bovine uh, milk based products and we can modify the non bovine milk protein uh, could be the attractive option uh, in the, in the conversion of the non bovine uh, milk into the non bovine milk product product and we can get uh, the alteration in the cream separation aging and the churning temperature and the method for the production of fat rich dairy products and what are the future prospects of the uh, non boiled milk the value added product from the non boiled milk having uh, shown tremendous potential in the national and international market and may hold the 
state of the future and the future of non boiled milk is state of the significant growth and diversification driven by the evolving consumer preferences environmental concern and advancement in the food technology comprehensive uh, characterization of the milk biopeptide molecule as well as in, in vitro produced bioactive peptide of commercial value need to be taken up on the priority research on non boiled uh, milk biome and the metabolome should be the intensified in the country to work on collecting information on microbiological profile of non non all non boiled species using meta genomics and the culturomics approaches a comprehensive catalog and the cultural collection of milk milk microbiota that is uh, some microbiota is spoiled as pathogenic technological relevant microbiota and the whole genome sequencing of selected uh, bacterial species are required to strengthen the uh, to strengthen the sector so there is need to develop a diagnostic based on differentiating biomarker to have a check on alteration of any non boiled milk from that of boiled milk in the market and the development of dairy entrepreneurship and the mini dairies of non boiled milk e commerce platform can also be used for marketing of non boiled milk and the provide financial support to the developing value chain of non boiled milk and the involvement of the icr is also very important to establishment of therapeutic value of non boiled milk and to recommend it for management of diabetes mellitus allergy autism respiratory tract infection and the immune modulation as well <laughs> there is success story that is advik uh, food rajasthan and they are working on the camel milk based product and the goat milk based products and they produces the camel milk powder camel, uh, camel milk chocolates camel milk based skin uh, care and they also uh, work on the goat milk and goat milk based product they established the online retail chain for marketing beside their own marketing network so what what should be the strategic intervention in non boiled uh, dairy food industry so integration of the farmer is very important and the integration of the self help help group and the milk producer organization and the dissemination of the improved dairy husband practices very important improved uh, milk productivity is very important enhanced processing and the, the non boiled based milk product should be uh, linked with the market so we can make the uh, healthy people and the healthy farmers in india so what is the conclusion and the availability of the uh, value addition option may promote the rearing of such species among rural community and it assists them in linking with the processor and consumer market and uh, opportunity time for introducing non boiled milk based functional dairy uh, products to tap the domestic and international market and there is there should be the development of the appropriate technological intervention including formulation processing modification and the packaging for uh, for efficient commercialization of value added products and ingredient from non boiled milk and the renewed interest in the therapeutic and the nutritional characterization of non boiled milk that is validation of the health claim by the non boiled milk and non boiled milk based product is very important